Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. It's a brief video on Bluebird Bio. I think many of you might have Bluebird Bio shares. Uh, I personally sold it at a little bit of a loss. It was a knee-jerk reaction. I regret that. Uh, but I'm not buying any right now. Uh, that said, I want to give you an update on why the share price is going up. Uh, and um, that's what this video is about. It's going to be very short. Let's get started. Welcome back friends. The main headline here is that on Thursday after the after Bluebird provided positive patient start guidance for the new year and revealed a commercial agreement with the US payer that provides coverage to 100 million patients. It's almost one third of US population. And um, uh, that kind of um, helped boost the sentiment in the markets for the therapy Life Genia, which is for sickle cell disease. We still have the TDT. Uh, to be approved. And despite the high list price of Life Genia, Bluebird has signed a large reimbursement deal for the SCD gene therapy less than a week after its FDA approval. And that's a big achievement. And I think their past um, experience uh, doing the same with Zinteglo and Skysona has definitely helped them. Also, the outcome based agreement Bluebird reached with Life Genia is with an organization that covers about 100 million people in the US. And um, they, they told in a security filings, Bluebird told in a security filings on Thursday uh, that nearly a third of the country's entire population is covered under this agreement. So that is huge. And that is formal also because it has gone to SEC. So it's uh, it's not uh, hyperbole or anything. So that's that's a very big factor in the price improvement for Bluebird. And for Life Genia, Bluebird is offering an outcomes-based framework that tracks treatments results from uh, for around three years and offers rebates if a patient is hospitalized because of a painful episode of uh, VOE, which is a common complication for sickle cell disease. Uh, in a regulatory filing, Bluebird said that it expects to see 85 to 105 patients initiate the treatment process across its three approved cell therapies, Life Genia, Zinteglo, and Skysona in 2024. And this is where the jugglery is because we never have uh, complete numbers for uh, Zinteglo or Skysona so far. And now we have added Life Genia to it. But we have a number of patient out here, the total number for 2024. We can use that. And since Bluebird has uh, outcomes-based pricing, it's difficult to see the exact revenue impact of these patient numbers. Also, it's a combination of all three therapies which have varying prices. And analysts' conservative estimate pegs the sales at around $170 million for 2024. And this is higher than the current consensus estimate, and hence the price has improved. And I personally think that the revenue may uh, be booked, but may not all be realized in 2024. Still, it's a good improvement for the company. Will this help avoid uh, dilution? Perhaps in the short run, leading analysts at uh, Wedbush say uh, the company only has about uh, enough cash runway right now to last through the second quarter of 2024. And without access to significant amounts of capital to support Life Genius launch and competition uh, from uh, CashGV, uh, they question the viability of the Life Genius franchise. Bluebird's uh, CEO, Andrew Ob uh, Obenshine, however, disagrees with this assignment. And he's saying that Bluebird will appeal the FDS decision to not grant the PRV, that is a priority review voucher. But he also adds that uh, PRV was not the only way that the company intended to obtain its needed capital. The PRV was always one component of our plan, so we just plan to execute the other components. But the kicker here is that he did not say what are the other components. So I suspect the other components could include um, a partial sale of the shares or a new public offering which can dilute the equity. So we don't know what it is. We'll have to wait for that. And coming to price targets, the Baird analysts have given an outperform rating on the stock and a $1.07 price target. This still means that uh, there is room for Bluebird to go up. Uh, I think it's currently at the mid $3 and uh, there is plenty of room still for Bluebird to go up. But of course, I think it's a risky gambit. And a contrary opinion comes from Adam Feuerstein of uh, statnews.com who thinks after this debacle with um, uh, Life Genia, uh, Bluebird Bio's only option might be a company sale. Only time will tell who is right. A look at the pipeline 
shows that there are no future products at present. And that in my books is not a good look. And um, I'm looking forward to you guys telling me what you think. I don't hold any shares of Bluebird right now, as I mentioned before. I do not plan to buy any right now. I will see after the quadruple witching how the dust settles and uh, I look at my overall portfolio and the various uh, diversification that I need to do. And if I have some money, then I'll think whether I want to put it into Bluebird. So that's all for this video and um, bye for now.